Musically Inclined is an acapella group at the University of Rhode Island that puts in hours of rehearsals each week in preparation for their performances. The group has 23 members, which is unusual, according to the group's president, Catherine Nolte, who says that typical acapella groups only have seven or eight members. We have a bigger group because we like to accept a lot of different people. Musically Inclined performs at a variety of events during the year. We host our own invitationals, and then we have our final end-of-the-year concert. Uh, this year is going to be December 6th at 7 p.m. in Andrews Auditorium. We actually get reached out to by a lot of like different other organizations, so uh, Greek Life is having us sing the national anthem. Last semester, we actually uh, did the national anthem at the Providence Bruins game. The group's musical directors composed the songs that Musically Inclined perform, which can take days or months to arrange. Lindsay Barron, a musical director of the group, described just how compositions come together. I was in acapella groups before this, but I never really arranged any of my own music. I always got it online and then just did it that way. But it's been a really cool opportunity to arrange my own stuff because it's been a nice like, creative freedom for me. Barron arranged a mashup between popular Broadway musicals Town and Hamilton's songs Wait For Me and Wait For It, which is one of the best songs musically and choreography-wise being performed this semester, according to group choreographer Sabrina Oliver. Um, Wait For It, Wait For Me took two days to choreograph because there's a lot going on. Oliver explained that she wanted to bring something more into this year's choreography to help form a narrative around pieces such as the Wait For It, Wait For Me mashup. So with our biggest song, we tried to make it more of a story instead of just, you know, point A to point B, point B to point C. Engaging the audience is also an important thing to keep in mind for Oliver when choreographing songs. And we tried to throw in some viral dances in there, like we have the low in one of our songs, and we just want the audience to be like, yo, like that's, I know what they're doing. Barron described how she envisioned the group's growth over her time at URI from a more secluded and relaxed group to where it lies now. But we really wanted this group to become something more. Improving the quality of the songs performed by Musically Inclined has been an important part of this growth to Barron. I think that we've really taken it to the next level by putting all those things into consideration. Excuse me, if everybody could get a standard position, please. We actually had our first invitational this past spring and that was a huge deal for us because we had been a group for five or six years at this point and we had never even considered doing anything like that. The group remains close-knit outside of rehearsal and performances according to Nolte. We meet so much that we actually like kind of form like a family bond because we see each other four to six hours a week it's kind of hard not to see them around campus or even on the weekends. This is Nicole Wagner reporting for the Five Cent Cigar News.